Hello friends, today let's solve optimize water distribution in a village. There are n houses in a village. We want to supply water for all the houses by building wells and laying pipes. For each house, I, we can either build a well inside it directly with cost with I or pipe in water from another well to it. The costs to lay pipes between houses are given by the array pipes, where each pipe's I equal house 1, house 2 cost represents the cost to connect house 1 and house 2 together using a pipe. Connections are bidirectional. Find the minimum total cost to supply water to all houses. If we do not have the wells cost, we just have the cost of the pipes. You will find this problem actually is find the minimum binding tree of this given graph. Uh, so what we need to do now is just to unify the wells cost and the pipes cost. Mm, so how do we do that? Actually you can treat the warehouse as a pipe too. For the cost to build a well on house one, you can treat it as build a pipe from house zero to house one. The cost of the wheel two, you can treat, treat it as the cost to build a pipe from house zero to house two, so on and so forth. So now we actually have the undirected weighted edges. And so this problem is just a typical minimum spanning tree problem. And we can use a cross cows algorithm. We just need to sort edges by their weight. And then we try to connect the two nodes. We will check whether they will cause a cycle. If it uh, will not cause a cycle, we can union these two nodes. And we sum up the cost. Let's see this example. If it's a given cost of the wheels, and this is the pipe's cost. And we will treat these three wheel costs as three pipes. So now we have five edges in total, and we sort them by their weight. So we currently have these five sorted edges. And we try to union zero and one. Sure, we can union them because they will not cause a cycle. And uh, in our result variable, we will uh, add one. And then we try to union one and two. Sure, we can union them. and we will sum up 1, and then we will try to union 2 and 3. Sure, we can union them, and we can add 1. And, and then we try to union 0 and 2, we cannot, because these two nodes are already in the same component, connected component. We just skip this edge, and then we try to union 0 and 3. It, uh, also will cause a cycle, so we skip it. So finally, we just return 3. So actually, this problem is just to unify the cost with wheels and the pipes to weighted edges. The, uh, the rest is just to do the cross cows algorithm. Actually, I have write the union find algorithm in previous video called uh, redundant connection, but I made some mistakes. So in this video, I will correct my mistake in the DSU code. So we first write our own class, we call it DSU. And actually, it, this class can be a little difference between different problems. So uh, for example, in this problem, we do not need a count. But in some problems, we do need an account about the connected components. Okay, in this problem, we need a size. 
for the use of the union by rank, you know, the union by rank. And we also need a root in the path compression. Okay, so we will write the construction, a constructor that we will call the DSU, and we will pass n as this index star from one, actually the name star from one. So we will just uh, initialize it to n plus one, and the root also n plus one, and we erase fill the size to one, that means uh, at the beginning, the size of each kinetic component is just one. So how about the root? Every node will be itself's root. So we'll, that will just be root i, b, i. Okay. This is the constructor. Then we sh should uh, write the find we find this parent x. So if the root x not equal to x, we will uh, keep finding its parent. So root x will be find root x. So finally we return root x. This method we do the pass compression. We actually connect every node in the path to its uh, final parent. Okay, then we will write the union. We will return a Boolean function, a Boolean variable, because we will check whether we can union these two nodes. So pass x and y. We will find it root x will find x and root y will be find y. So if root x equal root y, we just return false because we cannot connect these two nodes. Otherwise, we will check the size. If root size less than size root y, we can union them by root x, you know, root, root x will be root y, and the size root y should uh, plus this size root x. Previously, I just write uh, size root y plus plus. Actually, we should uh, sum up all the size of root x. Even though it's, it's also, it was also accepted. So root, uh, root y will equal root x size root uh, x plus size root y. Okay, finally we return true because that means they can be unioned. Okay, this is the DSU class. So in the method we will new our DSU, DSU, new DSU, that will pass n, okay. Then we will use a priority queue. It works like the sort int array. We call it heap priority queue. And uh, for a, b, we sort by their uh, second index b2. Because we actually, because a0 and a1 are actually node, and a2 is their cost. So for every whale, less than whales, the length, I plus plus, hip, okay, hip will offer new int. You can write zero or n plus two, n plus three. It all works. It's just, it's just like a, you know, a representation. We can call it a zero, zero two, i plus 1, because it starts from 1, right? And the uh, cost wheels i. Okay, then we put every pipe to the hip of uh, p. 
then while this heap is not empty, we will check whether we can, well, we will first pull a weighted edge from the heap pool. So if DSU union current zero and the current one, if we can union them, then we should accumulate this cost. We start from zero, accumulate current two. So finally, we just return this result. Uh, mm, let's see. Mm. Size root n plus one is not sure. Fill side to one. Yeah. Is n plus root i equal to i? Yeah. Mm. Find root i. X not equal to x. Root x equal to find. Uh, sure, that be correct return. Union, yeah, return false. Uh, mm -hmm. what's wrong? Six, find. Uh, if root x not equal x. It should be correct. Find x one. Yeah. Good. Ah. I should never write a new array, okay. Thank you for watching, see you next time.